Hello again from Relation Productions. Today I've got another project to show you that I've finished up. It's been sitting on the shelf for quite a while. Uh, I've had this since 2008 actually and only now within the last couple of weeks ago did I finally finish it up. This is a little PM Research machining kit for a steam engine. As you can see it's a very simple engine with an oscillating head for valving but um, well let's take a look at it. I got it hooked up to regular now through a piece of uh, fuel line and we'll see how she starts up. And pretty much all you see except for the piston side, that's all there is to all the working parts on this. It's a very simple type of engine. It just uses the uh, back and forth motion of the piston head there and it's got valving hooked up to it. The port right there, that's the intake, it's got the hose on it and that's the exhaust. That doesn't. And it's just a couple of holes drilled in there. Very simple, very simple engine. You can see here too, as an addition, it didn't come with the kit, but I added on later because I wanted it on there. Uh, I put some nice Teflon bushings in there too. Because originally, all it had to keep the shaft from sliding back and forth was it would just be whatever play was there on the, um, the crank end. And that worked well enough, but I decided I wanted uh, something a little more solid in there too just to uh, keep it from sliding back and forth too much. Let's see how slow we can get this. It runs pretty slow before it comes to a complete stop. It's probably about as slow as I can get it there. And according to the instructions, this thing is only designed to run at about 1000 RPM max. I would assume that's because uh, the majority of the kit is from aluminum castings, which is very easy to machine, but uh, wear-wise longevity I don't think is going to be quite as good as even brass would be. Speed her up a little. And she'll run pretty fast as you can see there. I don't want to get it going too fast. A very small engine. Really can't handle a ton of pressure I would imagine. I don't think I've had her up past 15 pounds or so and even that's probably beyond the limit of what you should be running something like this at. It's kind of fun to watch this thing just chug away like that. Maybe one of these days I'll get a proper boiler fitted up to it and run it off of steam. But for now, maybe for the long term, indefinitely, uh, it's just going to be a display piece. The idea is maybe in the future taking these plants and doubling their size for something with approximately eight times the displacement, something that put out more power. This puts out a little bit of power here. Oh. I mean, you can see it doesn't have a ton of power, but it's got a little bit. Probably could run a little bit higher than that. Part fitting and everything else will have a impact on that as well. How much pressure you can run, how much torque you get out of it. I'm wanting to walk around here in the filing cabinet. Take a 
look at the back there. That's pretty much all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you got any comments or questions, please leave them below, and I'll try to answer them as best I can in a timely fashion. Uh, and as always, thanks for watching.